Minglava. It is the beginning of the school year. Today we are about to visit the first day of the school in Menlo Park, California. So what you're about to see is not a typical school day. Usually classrooms are divided by age group. But in this activity, students from four different groups are together. They range the age of 10 to 14. Altogether, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grades. In a couple of weeks, students will be placed into a smaller classroom according to their age group. But in this first week, it's very important for school to build community. It's an opportunity for new students and old students to get to know each other. We want to encourage students to feel safe and take risks. Today's activity is not necessarily tied to a curriculum, but the goal is to have the students practice iteration, such as trying something out, trying to refine it in a limited amount of time, and making it better. Students get to use a lot of collaboration with different age groups and practice team building, communication skills, and leadership skills. Teachers are encouraging students to take risks and fail when necessary because creativity is very important value to us. That's why we create a learning environment for students to feel safe and comfortable for taking risks, taking chances, and realizing that if they make a mistake, that's not the end of the world. But there's something they can learn from it and they can be better the next time. Today's activity, we call it the Big Egg Dropped. The challenge is to build a stretcher to protect a raw egg from breaking when dropped from 12 feet above. Students can use any recycled material as they like, such as cardboard, bubble wrap, plastic bags, strings, straws, etc. But their finished product must not be bigger than one feet long in any direction. Students are randomly put into groups. Students are told to keep the design simple. And it's not just about protecting the egg. They can also slow down its fall. It's all about creativity and they are encouraged to practice the test before dropping it from 12 feet above. And they can test their theory and they can test their structure, then iterate and refine it over time. Team has time pressure. The discussions, building the structure, and testing has to be done within 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the class will gather at the second floor balcony to drop the egg. To succeed the challenge, the egg must survive the fall and broken and intact. During the process, teachers float around the classroom reminding the students about the importance of failure, learning from mistakes, retrying, iterating, refining over and over again to be better at it. After the whole process of brainstorming, building the structure, testing it, refining, iteration, and then final testing is over, students are asked to sit down quietly and reflect on the process individually first, then join the group. Then join a group to do a team reflection of what went well and what didn't go well and how they can improve the next time. We believe it is very important to teach self-reflection and team reflection skills since this very young age.